Let's take a look at the next item on our Houdini 10 countdown, Progressive Interactive Photolistic Rendering. These new IPR tools provide continuous feedback as lighting artists work on developing the look of a shot. Here we have a simple scene set up with a default shader and a few lights. In the top right is the Render View panel, which is where the IPR updates will take place. As materials are dragged into the viewport, IPR kicks in and updates the rendered view. The update starts as a rough, pixelated approximation that is then refined down to the final look. This gives artists continuous feedback, making it easier to make creative decisions on the fly. You can also drag shaders into the render view itself. Later you can edit the shader by control clicking on the render view to bring up its parameters. You can then tweak the look of a shader and the IPR will quickly show you the impact of your change. Houdini 10's IPR updates when you make changes to the positions of your lights or to parameters such as color or intensity. You can use either ray traced or depth map shadows and IPR supports deep shadow maps for casting shadows through transparent objects. Lighting a shot involves lots of tweaks and with IPR, lighters will get the feedback they need. Houdini 10's IPR will also update when you change your camera position. You can also move objects around or add and delete objects to the scene. Each IPR update takes the whole shot into account to make sure you can work without any limitations. With an animated shot, you can even scrub along the timeline and IPR will update for the new frame. Lighting a shot involves lots of decision making. An IPR snapshot feature lets you record interesting points in the development of your rendered images. The render view window can then be used to diff the snapshots to figure out which one is working out the best. Dini 10's IPR also supports physically based rendering, or PBR, which is a popular way of getting realistic lighting using Houdini's Mantra Render. PBR has been enhanced in Houdini 10 with full support in Mantra's multi-threaded shader language, as well as support for exporting deep raster passes with perlite control. Houdini's Mantra Render is being adopted by studios for a wide range of rendering tasks. With progressive IPR, lighting artists can now work faster with better feedback. This feedback is critical for creating the best looking shots, which is sort of the whole point of this CG stuff anyway.